Welcome to Nomtech Automotive at the Ford Incubation Center. This program is designed to provide awareness and keep all employees, visitors, and contractors safe within our premises. So let's get started on explaining the occupational health and safety requirements. All employees, visitors, and contractors are required to wear safety shoes, reflective vests, and any other mandatory PPE issued or prescribed by the employer or client. Always follow on-site safety rules. Never use the roller shutter door as pedestrian walkway when entering or exiting the facility. Instead, use the designated pedestrian door. Always look where you are going and stick to pedestrian walkways. Always switch off unsupervised equipment. Please note, horseplay is not allowed in the workplace. Avoid using the cell phone and its accessories when walking. Do not litter. Always utilize bins provided. Do not eat at the workstations. Always use designated eating areas. Pellet jacks must be parked at designated areas when not in use. Always maintain good housekeeping and practice 5S in the workplace. Smoking within Ford's premises and working under the influence of alcohol is strictly prohibited. Only use designated smoking stations provided by Ford. Material handling and storage. Loads should be placed evenly and properly positioned. Heavier loads must be stacked on lower or middle shelves. Always remember to remove one load at a time. Observe proper ergonomic posture when carrying or moving loads. If products are too heavy to lift, then ask for assistance from a co-worker. A lockout or tag out program must always be followed to ensure that energized equipment are properly shut off to prevent employees from being caught between mechanical parts or being electrocuted. If you recognize a hazard within the facility or somehow feel the job is dangerous, report your concern to the supervisor or manager so the issue can be addressed. All incidents and near misses must be reported. Safety equipment in the workplace. Employees are encouraged not to misuse, damage or interfere with safety equipment. Only trained and legally appointed first aiders as well as basic firefighters are allowed to administer first aid treatment as well as using the firefighting equipment. Employees must not do the following. Block, lock, or obstruct any fire doors or escape routes. Obstruct access to fire extinguishers. Obstruct clearly marked signage for fire exits and escape routes. Obstruct electrical equipment such as sockets and distribution boxes. In case of emergency, all employees, visitors, and contractors are expected to quit what they are doing, if possible, switch off electrical equipment, evacuate the building by taking the shortest possible route and follow the running man signs. Do not run. Instead, walk quickly. Gather at the assembly point and wait for further instructions. Should you have any uncertainties arising from this program, please reach out to your supervisor or safety personnel at AIDC. I thank you for your attention.